solving inequalities and graphing using interval notation. Example one, consider the following inequality. 2z is less than negative 14. Step one, solve the linear inequality for the given variable. Simplify and express your answer in algebraic notation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this inequality the same way that I would solve an equation. 2 and z are being multiplied together, they're attached. So to undo multiplication, I'm going to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. When I do that, I'm going to bring down my variable z and my inequality, and then negative 14 divided by 2 gives me negative 7. So my answer here in algebraic notation would be z is less than negative 7. Step number two, we're going to graph the solution to the given inequality. We have z is less than negative 7. This is an open interval, and so we're going to have a parenthesis at negative 7. And so since z is less than negative 7, z is going to be going towards negative infinity. So I'm going to select the, the two parentheses as my open interval when I go to graph it. And then note that anytime you have a negative infinity and a positive infinity, the endpoints are always going to be parentheses in order to take it all the way to negative infinity or positive infinity when you're graphing through the program. And so I'm going to put a parentheses at negative 7, and then I'll be taking my arrow all the way to negative infinity to graph it. And so this is what it would look like. So let's look at example 2. Consider the following inequality. Negative 2z is less than or equal to negative 14. Step 1. Solve the linear inequality for the given variable. Simplify and express your answer in algebraic notation. And so again, I have multiplication. Negative 2 and z are being multiplied. So to undo multiplication, I'm going to divide. However, there's a rule with inequalities. When you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number, the inequality is going to flip. And so since I'm going to be dividing both sides by that negative 2, that's a negative number, I'm going to have to take, bring down my z and I'm going to have to flip that inequality to, to go the other direction. So now it's going to be greater than or equal to, not less than or equal to. And then negative 14 divided by negative 2 gives me 7. So my answer is going to be z is greater than or equal to 7. Step two, graph the solution to the given inequality. We have z is greater than or equal to seven. So this is actually going to be a half open interval since we do, we're going to have a bracket at seven, but since z is greater than or equal to seven, it's going to go towards the positive infinity, which will be in open parentheses. And so I'm going to select the bracket and then the open parentheses for when I go to graph it. And so then I would put a bracket at seven and then it would go to positive infinity when I graph it. 